hello everyone today i'm going to explain you another problem on mean so in my last previous video i have explained you mean related to individual series it is also called as ungrouped data okay individual series i have explained you now in, in my today's video i'm going to explain you about a group related problem and it is divided into two types one is discrete series another one is continuous series so in so in this i'm going to explain you about a discrete series so i have taken one question calculate mean from the following data students and marks is given here so i have written as it is in the solution calculation of mean discrete series okay how you are going to like differentiate between individual series and discrete series in individual series you are going to you will have only one uh, you will have only a uh, numbers here but in discrete series you will have numbers as well as a uh, frequency now what is frequency okay uh, a frequency is something how often the event repeat over a period of time okay so here uh, students and marks one student four marks got one student okay so three three marks got two students so two students got three marks here likewise three student got five marks so this is considered as a discrete series if you get a, a question with the frequency then it is considered as discrete series so for every method for different method we have different formula in previous in previous problem we have seen that mean is equals to total number of observation by number of observation so here we have another formula for discrete series see mean is equals to sigma fx by sigma f okay so this is f f is nothing but frequency and this is considered as x okay sigma fx by sigma x so what the formula demands us we need to calculate f into x so we need to calculate f into x f into x f into x is 4 ones are 4 6 15 44 30 16 14 24 50 okay so we need a summation here so we are going to add all this summation f of x equal to add all this numbers 4 plus 6 plus 15 it come up to 251 so again we need sigma f sigma f summation of x so we need to add all this numbers 4 plus 3 plus 5 plus 11 all this numbers summation of x is equals to 50 so simple okay so what we have done we have multiply x into x then we have add all that numbers here we have add f sigma f so 251 by 50 251 divided by 50 251 divided by 50 is 5.02 so our mean is 5.02 okay this is one method in discrete series another method we can do uh, in discrete series is shortcut method okay so i'm going to take a same example here in shortcut method uh, okay i'll write here So shortcut method uh, sorry yeah I have to write here so I have to correct here to discrete series okay so 
the shortcut method same example i have taken student 10 marks now when uh, in shortcut method again we have a different formula mean is equals to a plus summation f into d by summation of f what is a a is nothing but assume one okay a is considered as assume mean okay d is deviation so how you are going to calculate d d is nothing but x minus a this is x this is f now a is you can take any number from here okay any number you can consider as 4 5 6 any number or you can take another number 11 12 13 we are just assuming that okay so but what i feel to make it very easy i am taking a smallest number i always take a smallest number whichever is uh, whatever the number is given here i am going to take a smallest number so that it will be easy for you to calculate okay calculation bahut easy ho jayega is tarah se agar aap sabse smallest number lenge okay so x minus a these numbers are x 1 to 9 i have, I have considered the smallest number 1 okay among this 1 is the smallest number so i have considered 1 so 1 minus 1 is 0 2 minus 1 1 3 minus 1 2 likewise we have calculated d okay then f into d f into d 3 5 into 2 10 33 and 4 50 12 21 okay so we have calculated f into d now add all this summation f into d three ten thirty three two not one okay now substitute in a formula what is a a is 1 okay plus summation f into d is 2 not 1 by summation of f is 50 so just follow with the bottomless rule first you need to divide the number then you have to add it so 2 not 1 divided by 50 1 plus 2 not 1 divided by 50 is from around 4.02 4.02 plus 1 is 5.02 so a simple one so which whichever method you are going to follow a discrete rate this one or a shortcut method the answer will be a same one see here 5 5.02 here 5.02 i hope i'm clear with a uh, discrete series in discrete series we have two methods okay one a shortcut method another one is this one so in my next video i am going to explain you a continuous series thank you